Talking monkeys can't exist. Monkeys are further down the evolutionary ladder. Just above humans. Because of the, um, the the way that the makeup was structured, I could, you're, you were very aware of your own voice, and it actually got in the way of of um, me performing. So we developed this voice. I mean, I, I kind of came up with it until I went, that's good, do that. And so, uh, it, and he let me kind of push it through, and then we, you know, I revoiced the whole thing in that way. It was just, uh, and it was out of necessity it came up, and I liked it because it actually hid me even more. Give me absolute. Once and for all. I mean, I never usually take any character home. I just took this one home because it was fun. And uh, no, you do. It doesn't sort of like magically work that once you've got the costume, then you walk and move differently. We all sent to Abe's school for yeah. you know, ages to try and sort of learn how to walk and move and sort of and be, you know, apely graceful and um, um, de develop a sort of primate behavior and, and um, ways of moving and standing. And, and getting in touch with our inner ape and our focus and our breathing and our smelling and our tasting and our grooming and our grunts and our, you know, it's endless. They're not dumb. They can be taught to live with us as equals. And I can prove it. You never saw, I never saw the other people without the makeup that much. No, I really didn't. They were very long days and, you know, 16, 17 hour days. And so you didn't see people in the, you, you not only did I see never I got used to wearing it all the time right. I can remember waking up one morning about two o'clock in the morning and thinking I still had it on I was in bed and I was like oh, I gotta take my teeth out I got it because I thought I still had it on but you whenever I would see people without it on it was very strange I got much more used to it with it on hey I do the job that nobody else wants besides I don't see any of you bleeding hearts spending all day with these dangerous dirty dumb beasts for one, it's not necessarily completely me. It's a perfect front and a great facade. It's very strange already, like signing autographs as my alter ego, my alter ape, you know. People have already got them off the internet and sort of like, and photos, you know, and they send this photo of a chimpanzee and say, please will you autograph this? You know, and it is strange, like putting my name down to the, you know, to this image of me, which is a chimpanzee. Next, you'll be telling us these beasts have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. I enjoyed it. It's, it's good fun. It's, it's a good ride, you know. Uh, it's, it's some, there's some stuff that he, he puts in there for the people, of the, the fans of the old movie as well. So it's kind of respectful. It's good. I think he's I, and the, you know, he, and like, you know, the bad guys work and the good guys work and there it is. You know, you got to have a go. It's fun. Though. Is there a soul in there? <laughs> <laughs>